Well, the city of Des Moines has had a long and storied history in the arts, and the Des Moines Art Center is proof of that. They're celebrating their 75th anniversary this year, and they're doing it with two special exhibits. 75 years is a long time, and it's a huge undertaking to sum it all up with an art exhibit, but the results are well worth it. Let's check it out. 75 years, the Des Moines Art Center has been a mecca for artists, amateur or professional. A mantra that runs so deep, it's even in the name. It was really important to the folks working on the establishment of this museum that um, we would be called the Des Moines Art Center and not the Des Moines Art Museum because there was always going to be an activation of spaces that we now call our studio education wing. So there were always classes that youth to professionals um, or hobbyists could take to kind of advance their skills or just be introduced to different art making techniques. That's Jill Featherstone, the Senior Director of Education at the Des Moines Art Center. She is the curator of the exhibit celebrating its 75th anniversary. It's called Making the Art Center 1948 to 2023 and condensing three quarters of a century into one room is no small feat. Working with 75 years and actually more than 75 years worth of history and I, although so I've been at the Art Center for about 24 years, um, just not knowing all of the right pieces and, and the sequence and putting them together, like finding all of the historical images so we make sure we have high enough quality pictures to put up on the walls, um, you know, making sure if there's someone that we want to use, a photo of someone we want to use, being able to identify everybody in the photo. Running in tandem with Making the Art Center 1948 to 2023 is another exhibit called Art Center, 75 Years of Iowa Art. It features works from artists that have lived and worked in Iowa and their connections to the Des Moines Art Center. And it too conveys the spirit of accessibility the center has had since the beginning. The Art Center is a place where people can come and learn new techniques. They can certainly hear artists talk. That's a wonderful thing about collecting modern and contemporary artwork versus art from centuries ago as these artists are alive. So that proximity to artists is one of the really unique things that we have here at the Des Moines Art Center. Alil Saarinen, the architect who designed the Art Center, said at the opening picnic, these buildings and studios are wonderful but mean nothing if not activated. Saarinen would be delighted to know that for the past 75 years the space has been used for exactly that and it will continue far into the future. And it's not just the Art Center, it's a great year to celebrate our all over Des Moines. Hoyt Sherman Place is also celebrating a huge milestone. The venue has been part of the community for 100 years. Hoyt Sherman Place first opened on January 21st, 1923, hosting a play called The Book of Job. Its goals are to present outstanding performances, celebrate Iowa's history, and to grow arts and culture in the region. In the, tw in the 2023 season, the venue's goal is to host 100 acts for its 100 years. Wow. And that's just cool to see. Just There's this such a legacy, whether it's mm -hmm. Hoyt Sherman or the Des Moines Arts Center, of arts here in Des Moines. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily the same vibe as some big city museum. It's one where they have contemporary pieces, more yes. modern um, you know, stuff, not some centuries old painting like we heard, you know, mm -hmm. some current modern stuff to really look at. Local too. That's so awesome. Great places to go check out art here in the metro.